Hello everybody, it's Rambo here with uh, another part of the indicator series. Uh, today we're going to be looking at something called the Sorcerer's Resistance. And it's very, very cut and clean, very basic, very easy to use, um, very user friendly. Uh, and basically what it is, you have your chart. Uh, and you know when you start looking at charts, what I always talk about is support and resistance lines, where to put them, very, very important because you don't want to be buying in right underneath resistance and then have it go up 10 cents and then bounce off and take a dive, uh, things like that. So that's why support and resistance is very, very important. Uh, so here we have a, a clean chart, uh, nothing on it. Um, and what uh, you could do is uh, the sorcerer's resistance uh, is uh, a program or an indicator that you can get uh, from Fun with Think Script. And uh, all you have to do is go there, you down, uh, download it, and then you could just bring it right up here. Um, there it is, the sorcerer's resistance. Add that. Um, and I'm going to get into this here in, in a second and show you all kinds of fun stuff. But boom, look at that. Isn't that nice? Right here I have all my support lines colored in green. And I have the resistance lines colored in red. You can zoom in here. And uh, this is just what you're looking for here. Um, uh, major support and now you know here's resistance now the way I have it set up is farther and farther away from the the price action on um, the lines get thicker so this is my uh, fifth resistance my fourth my third see it gets thinner my second and my first and vice versa going the other way with the red and so you know the big thick ones I'm, I'm just looking at this is the big major area right here that we're uh, you know consolidating and it looks like right here so um, that's the way it looks uh, you could use it on uh, your one minute chart your you know your daily chart monthly chart um, it works out really really nice um, and if you want to uh, have it more of a wider range than just the immediate or even more closely if you just want it right here um, this is this is where it gets uh, fun and this is where it's, uh, this is really easy to use you just go by the wavelength from you could go 13 from the price and you could go let's say go down to six and now if you notice it's it's a lot more uh, crunched up there uh, you get more of the support and resistance lines in the immediate area um, you can uh, go go uh, farther out. Let's say we could go to, uh, let's say the last 30. And now things are much, much more spread out um, over uh, and uh, the last move. And here now we only have the three uh, most major moves. Um, Oh, sorry. Uh, so I personally, on my uh, four-hour chart, I like to use 13. Uh, so you can mess around with it uh, until you find on each uh, type of chart which uh, looks best for you. Um, there's my 13. I just like uh, like that look. Um, it, it gives you uh, just the really good general facility of uh, areas that you're um, involved with at the time. I don't necessarily right now need to know the resistance up at you know 1542 when it's at $6.04. Um, you can have you can have it draw from the wicks or the bodies if you prefer. Um, and then here's the resistances. It plots um, the five supports and the five uh, resistances uh, you could draw uh, you could change it you know into dash lines if you want um, and then here's the width and like I said um, you know the ones farthest away five I, I have extra thick four is four three is three 
and then two and one I have the same at two just uh, because uh, it's more visible that way um, and then uh, you could change uh, the resistance and support colors if you like you can make it that color or whatever you want um, so very 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 easy um, to look at um, and again with any you know any other chart even with my deviation lines um, I have these uh, on my deviation lines uh, and the nice thing is guys I mean think about it you're really invested into a certain st stock uh, you want to draw the support and resistance lines it's very important and w we're all about uh, trying to be the most efficient that we can and instead of drawing 10 support and resistance lines right you could just have something to where boom it's just automatic and then let's say you have a watch list of 10 charts well now you're looking at drawing you know 200 support and resistance lines instead of boom 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 they're just all there right very 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 nice very convenient saves you a lot of time but yet you have um, the information that you want um, and that you need um, right there at a um, right there at your fingertips so again it's called the sorcerer's resistance um, it, it's just uh, it's something that would be uh, beneficial to you if uh, you know you're just kind of uh, not wanting to do the lines yourself and uh, have them in there but again play with it uh, figure out the wavelengths that you like on each chart and uh, they'll be really nice and clean uh, and they'll definitely help you out. So with that said, guys, I hope you have uh, a really good weekend, and we'll be talking to you later.